Hey guys, it's day 44 quarantine cuisine show in his home and we're making the quickest guacamole and homemade chips. So remember yesterday when I went to make that quesadilla and I, to my surprise, opened up my flour tortilla bag and I had <laughs> that. Well, we don't waste anything, right? And I had one whole one on top that we used for the quesadilla, but that blocked my view of these that I had cut out mini tacos from like a couple weeks ago. So anyway, you know, I had a Mexican restaurant in New York called Teca and it wasn't the most traditional, you know, there was like old school Mexican and new school Mexican. And part of my new school was that I love flour tortillas and um, love them as far as chips go, right? And whenever I cater, I always make these in addition to corn tortillas and they're a real crowd pleaser and people love them. And that's what I'm gonna make with these. And then we're gonna make a quick guacamole. So let's bring these over here. Let me see if I can get these all in one hand. And I have some oil on, and I also have some bacon cooking. And to the bacon, just first off, let me add these shallots. And I'll tell you why I'm gonna do that in a minute. I have a bowl with some paper towels for my flour tortillas. And you see, these are gonna puff up. They're gonna cook really, really quickly. I'm gonna make sure that I don't overflow my pan, so I'm adding them slowly. And they're gonna have this like different kind of crunch than um, corn tortillas. Corn tortillas get very, very crisp, which are lovely. You know, you can do this with white corn or yellow corn and make great, the, the best homemade corn tortillas um, from store-bought um, tortillas. But I like the flour sometimes just to mix it up. I know they're not gluten-free, I'm sorry about that. But they get really puffy and layery and crispy and crunchy and they're just like a great um you know uh, a great chip and like the people they're very underrated and so i used to have them at teca in the restaurant and you know certain people would like freak out like oh you can't serve flour tortillas with guacamole or salsa and i was like yeah i can i'm the chef i can do whatever i want sorry and you know people loved them right Okay, so now I'm just cooking a little bit of bacon and bacon fat and some shallots in there because the guacamole that I'm making today was actually a guacamole that was on the menu at Teca. And again, this was more new school compared to just old school. Um, and what it was was I love BLTs, right? And, you know, most people do. I get it. They're just amazing. So on Sundays, we did a brunch and we would do bacon, tomato, shallot, guacamole. And we mm. just did it on Sundays and it was so good. People freaked out, they loved it. And you know, cause bacon, tomato and, gua and avocado go so beautifully together, right? And why not have it on a chip? So it's like a BLT in your mouth with one bite. So <laughs> wait for it guys, cause yeah. you're gonna have it in a couple minutes. So I'm just cooking these tortillas. They're almost done. Making sure that this bacon doesn't burn and these shallots don't burn. I'm gonna steal a little paper towel from here for my bacon. Okay, so these are just about done. Look at that. Nice and brown. Yum, 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 yum. Okay, let me just get something to take these out. I need a slotted spoon. Strain that. So people that I cook for and friends that you know come to my house, you know these chips because I make them a lot. And it's great to make with leftover tortillas that are, you know, on their way out or you only have a couple left. You just make some chips, no big deal. Just leave that in there. And then we're going to take, whoops, what I'm happened? I burned myself in the pan. Oh, are you okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. Right. It was like a wake up call. Pox, there's nothing worse well, than a burn, Pox. I got so focused on those chips. All right, just. Be careful. You want your safety goggles or? Okay, so we have that crispy bacon. 
We're gonna save that oil, that bacon fat, mm -hmm. and we're gonna salt these chips, right? Because we're layering our flavors. Okay, so now let's go back over to our cutting board. And how great is it to have warm chips? I mean, seriously. So we'll leave that here. So what I'm doing is when I'm in a rush, right? Or you have an avocado that isn't as soft as you might like it to be, but you wanna make guacamole, what I do is I do it in a food processor and you can still make it chunky if you like, or you can make it actually super smooth. So the first thing I do is I'm adding one clove of garlic. I'm adding um, a tiny piece of jalapeno. Okay, putting that in there. I'm adding one avocado, because this is just gonna be a little snack for us. And this is a, probably like a perfect avocado. I could tell right away when I felt it. Really, really beautiful. But it's, it's soft, but it's not super soft. So actually doing it in this food processor is gonna help me out quite a bit. This is, you know, our trick. Be careful. Get that out of there. And this one, this is a pretty large avocado. This is gonna go a long way. It's gonna be just enough guacamole for us that we don't overdo it, okay? So we got that in there. I just wipe my hands. And then to that, I like to add some salt. Decent amount of salt. A little bit of avocado oil. Some uh, red wine vinegar, just a touch. Just a little bit of acid, okay? Mm. My favorite hot sauce, Cholula. I, like the, I love her. I like the Price's right hand gesture. Yeah. And we're gonna start with half a lime because this is a pretty juicy lime and I don't wanna over lime it. It's pretty juicy, okay? Mm -hmm. And then, oh wait, sorry. And we're gonna add, I don't have any cilantro right now, and I like scallions just as much in my uh, guacamole as cilantro, if not both together. But I don't have cilantro, so I'm gonna put a little bit of scallion in there. So we have some fresh herb. Okay, let's Ooh. taste that. What? Perfect. Sorry. Not always perfect, but doesn't need anything. <clears throat> okay, so we're gonna put these chips in this bowl. <clears throat> They're still warm, which is so cool. Right? Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna fold in oh. bacon and shallots. You're welcome. Oh. Okay. That's a good idea. Sometimes, you know, the best treats are just simple and easy and quick. So we got bacon in there, we got shallots. See the bacon right there? Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. <laughs> Did you catch that on camera? Me eating, licking that spoon? Okay, and then we're just gonna cut up a couple of tomatoes. Pretty, right? Yeah. Yeah, this was the Sunday guacamole special at Teca. What was it called? Guacamole, it was like a BLT guacamole. Yeah. I don't remember exactly what we called it, but something to that effect. And people were like really resistant in the kitchen. You know, all my line cooks were like looking at me like I had two heads. And I was like, yeah, you'll see. <laughs> you'll see, trust me, everything's better with bacon. Okay, so that's really it. We're just gonna garnish with a little bit of scallion.
That's it, guys. <sighs> you have no idea I'm, how good that is. I'm going to find out right now. You're going to find out? I can't wait. <laughs> oh. What a treat. That's going to be gone fast. Okay. That's so good. You I know what, it. guys? You can do this. I know you can. You can do it with your kids. You can do it with your mother. Happy Mother's Day. Oh. You can do it. Please do it. Let me know. I love that you guys are sending me pictures and letting me know that you're doing it and that my recipes are working for you and you're happy. Thank you. You can do it. Cook with me. Day 44 quarantine cuisine. Shown is home and we're making creamy rock shrimp. And I have rock shrimp in quotes because it's not rock shrimp, it's regular shrimp. <laughs> rock shrimp are really, really tiny and that's just fine. The bigger, the better in my eyes when it comes to shrimp. Um, but this is a, a take on a Nobu recipe that you might know where you know they lightly batter and fry shrimp and then they toss it in this creamy, spicy mayonnaise. And it's one of my favorite dishes and I know it's one of Parker's too. So hopefully it's one of yours and it's really, really simple. So we're gonna do it right now. Okay, so we have one cup of very cold water and I put some ice in there uh, that's melting just so that it stays super cold. And to that, I'm adding one egg yolk. And this is gonna be um, our tempura batter. And I'm using potato starch. Now you can use regular flour and I'm using potato starch for two reasons. One, I'm low on flour, so I don't wanna waste it. And potato starch works just as well, and it's also gluten-free, so that's an extra bonus. And it gets very, very crispy. So this is a great application to use potato starch instead of flour. And you know, you could probably find this in the supermarket a lot easier right now than flour, okay? Because it's not easy. Flour is like sold out everywhere. Okay, so I'm just measuring a cup of this potato starch potato starch, potato flour. Oops. Well, that was like the messiest thing I've ever done, but okay. <laughs> and we're gonna add this. Let me see that. You know oh, what? Yeah. It's a perfect. But you know what? what? I have my handy dandy um, French scraper. Yeah. And we're gonna just scrape that. Yeah, really gonna work. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. Hard to imagine. <laughs> really? <laughs> okay. Not bad. <laughs> Not bad at all. Okay. So. <laughs> okay. So to this, we're going to just mix this together. And this is going to be our tempura batter. Mm. And you don't want to mix it completely smooth. You want it to be a little bit um, lumpy, almost like pancake mix. Okay, so I'm just getting in those corners. Okay. You know what? I'm going to add a little bit more. Oh. See, that was meant to be. Yeah. Perfect accident. Except for what's on the floor. Okay. <laughs> Let me just rinse this yeah. out. Yeah, <laughs> You know, I jinxed myself because I said, oh, this is a really, really simple recipe. And, um, you know, I didn't put too much thought into it, but now I have a little mess on the floor. I didn't have my glove ready, whatever. Okay, so we're going to add our shrimp to this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, got it. Okay, we're gonna let that sit for a minute. Yeah. And before we finish that, yeah. We're going to make um, a little bit of that spicy sauce. So what I like to do is I have a can of chipotle peppers in adobo sauce, okay? So that's nice. basically a smoked jalapeno pepper and I'm putting it in my food processor because um, it has the whole peppers in here, as you can see. Let me show you. Oh. Right? So I wanna break that up. And then once I break that up, I can just keep that in the refrigerator and then I can add it to things. And they also sell um, chipotle peppers that are pureed, but they're not always easy to find. So we'll grind this up quick. Okay. 
Okay, now it's just a simple, simple puree. And then we don't have those big chunks, okay? Okay. And we don't need a lot of this sauce. My bad, my bad. What happened? I just... You stopped the uh, camera? I just let go. Okay. So we're going to save that. Okay. And to this, we'll add some of our Kewpie mayo. What was that again? Pro probably about two tablespoons. That that nice Japanese, Japanese mayonnaise. mayonnaise. Hmm. And this is, you know, similar to what they put in some restaurants on like a spicy tuna roll. I'm adding a little bit of lemon. Okay, and let's just see. Delicious. Okay. A touch of salt in that. Okay, now let me get a glove again and we're gonna go back over to the stove. Okay. Okay? Yep. You with me, Parks? I'm with you. Flash up with me, and I also don't want uh, to cool down the oil too quickly. As I always remind you, you know, I have um, a Dutch oven here um, and that enamel um, interior really holds the heat well. Uh, this is Electrosave, my favorite brand, but um, you can use any pot, but just always make sure that your oil is no more than just below halfway up because it's going to rise up and we don't want it to overflow. And then on the side here, I have, you know, my towel waiting to... Um, Grab my shrimp and we'll put a little salt on it. And as soon as the shrimp rise to the top, they're done. Mm. We're almost there. You can do that part, so? Yeah. You think? I think. I think if I like have a manual, I'll get there. A manual? Yeah. <laughs> Those are the steps. I'd have to write it down. I'm just using a smaller spoon because that yeah. spider's a little big for this pot. Can you see how it has that nice crispiness? Sorry. Beautiful. So that's that cornstarch and egg? It's the potato that? starch, yeah. Potato starch, sorry. Potato starch. Yeah. And it's gluten free, so that's great. Done. By the color? They've got a nice color. You know, they they turn they're not translucent anymore, they're opaque. And you know, these are small shrimp, they don't need a lot of time at all. And there's gonna be some, you know, carryover heat. So we're gonna put these in here. You know, and they're not if this isn't tempura, you know, this is kind of like a take on a tempura batter, but it's not like a big puffy tempura, yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, that's really like thick and, um, you know, just like that huge fried batter, which I don't particularly love. Um, you know, it's fun once in a while, but it gets to be a lot, right? It, it kind of overtakes whatever you're battering, whether it's shrimp or a vegetable, that's like all you get is the batter and it's not about what, what's inside the batter. Yeah. So I like this, it's a little bit lighter. Okay, so we're gonna get rid of this towel. We're gonna add some salt to this. And then we're gonna add our mayonnaise. Oh. It's, you know what, this is almost like, you know, like an Asian version of a roulade, right? Um. 
And I have this beautiful um, lettuce here, this hydroponic lettuce. Oh my God. We can use it as a lettuce cup or we can just use it as a base. And we'll, I know, and we'll add some sesame seeds so we have a little extra crunch there. And you know how I love my scallions, guys. I'm gonna add some nice, long, beautiful scallions as a garnish and a little extra flavor. I like this sultry music we got going right now. Chef Baker. It's really Flame nice. And we'll do a squeeze of lemon. How fast and easy was that? I mean, it was a little Shit. sloppy, a little sloppy, but... Oh. Right? Well, well worth it. Are yeah. Oh my God, that looks so beautiful. Creamy, that is the creamy rock shrimp. Creamy rock shrimp. Should I taste one? Yeah. Yeah, taste one. I think you picked out a good one there. <laughs> you happy? Wow. I'm happy, but you know what? What? Yeah. No, don't put want... it in your hand. Well, I just don't want to go on the floor. I gotcha. Creamy rock shrimp, guys. You can do this. Wow. You can do it. It's so easy. Oh, it's so good. Okay. Do it. It's Cook different. With me. It's different. It's so delicious. I've never had something like that. It's so good. <clears throat> really? Yeah. Okay. Wow. Love you guys. Thanks for watching.